This is Dr. Hakamim Bariatric Surgeon in Augusta, Georgia. The topic of today is blood clots after weight loss surgery. I want to clarify a few things. So there are different types of blood clots that we can develop. Some are called superficial and some are called deep and the other one is blood clots on the lungs. Any person who is overweight that is taking hormones or has any blood problem that makes him clot more often is at the risk of developing blood clots, regardless of surgery or not. Surgery in general, not only bariatric surgery, can increase the risk of developing blood clots. And this is because the moment that you have surgery, you get cut for surgery, your body's gonna try to heal and it's gonna activate all the mechanisms to help you heal. And some of these mechanisms include uh, increasing um, your blood's ability to clot. And this is just a saving mechanism that our body has. After bariatric surgery, um, most of our patients have increased risk of developing blood, blood clots compared to other populations because of the weight and because of some of the comorbidities. Now, it's important to take into account that symptoms of developing blood clots, especially on the legs, can be swelling of the legs. So you gotta be very aware of significant swelling on the legs. And a lot of the times, it's not just a mild swelling, it's a very significant swelling. So a lot of patients do not miss this. Or you can develop um, difficulty with walking or pain with walking as well as pain on your calf. The risk of developing blood clots on the legs or even on the pelvic veins is the risk of those clots migrating to your lungs. And that's what we call pulmonary embolism. That can be life-threatening. So, during the procedure and after the procedure, we use several methods to try to decrease the risk of developing blood clots, and that is giving you a blood thinner. Most of us will give you a blood thinner before, during, and after the surgery, and depending on your risk factors, even send you um, a blood thinner for you to take at home. Now, the further out that you're from surgery, the lesser the risk, and the risk will remain for several weeks there. But the further out, again, the lesser the risk. What can you do at home to try to prevent blood clots after surgery is you just gotta make sure that you're up and walking and moving around as much as you can. Thank you for watching. If you like these videos, please subscribe. Thank you.